back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today I'm going to share with you two different glazes that you could use for ham. Uh, you could even use them for like chicken or turkey or any other kind of meat. Um, these are a sweet glaze and I will leave the original recipe in the description below and then I will share with you some alternatives that I liked to use. So we get our pork from a meat local meat locker and we end up getting a ton of really nice, thick, big ham steaks. Uh, we get like two nice um, ham halves, like big hams that are pre-sliced. And then we also get big like hawk chunks of ham as well. And we are running it down to what's left of our ham in our deep freezer. And so I need to use them up. Show you here. So this is what I'm going to use today. I have three different chunks of meat and so I'm gonna do different glazes for each one um, and just have a little bit of fun playing with it. So our basic recipe, the first one that I am going to do um, is the, just the original base that I do for a lot of glazes. And we're gonna start with one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now. I do this often, so I eyeball it, um, but feel free to get out your measuring spoons if you want to, but I'm just going to eyeball it. We need um, half a cup of jam, and so I like to use apricot jam. I like to use plum jam. I like to use cherry jam. Um, if you're doing like meatballs, for a, need a glaze for meatballs, you could use grape jelly. goes really well with meatballs. Um, today I am going to use a cherry and rosemary jam. And then for my second glaze, I'm going to use apricot and cumin spread, um, jam. So you can pick and choose, go find what you got on hand and make do with it. Ham is really versatile and I love that so many flavors, uh, just pair really well with it. So I'm going to use half a cup. I am going to start with apricot actually. And these little cute little jars, by the way, I found at Aldi's. Another fun Aldi, seasonal Aldi find. It's about a fourth. That's probably about a half. And honestly, there's not much left in there. So we're just gonna use her up. Perfect. And then we need half a cup of honey. And I am gonna just open this up. I actually have about a half a cup of honey left in this honey jar. So we're just gonna kind of, it kind of comes out slowly. So we're just gonna kind of let it go. We're gonna use a pinch of cloves. And um, with ham, you could use like nutmeg. Uh, you could use like allspice. Or I like to use ground cloves with ham. If you have whole cloves, hang on to those and then you can just stick those into your ham. If you have a big ham, um, I do this for our Easter ham. I just take the big cloves, the little steaks, stick them in on the outside of your ham and then pour your glaze over the whole ham. All right, that's pretty good there. You need three teaspoons of lemon juice. I am going to eyeball this. Don't go crazy on the lemon juice. You it, don't want it to be too strong. So there's about one, two, three. Let me get my little pinch of ground cloves. Just sprinkle that, there we go. And then we're gonna just nicely mix this together. Now there are two ways that you can do a glaze. You can put this into a small skillet and kind of let it bubble and simmer a little bit and then pour it on your ham after your ham is done. Or you can just go ahead and put it straight onto your ham and bake it in the oven with it. And that's the route I usually prefer to go. This smells amazing. So this recipe right here makes quite a bit, but I'm feeling playful today, so I'm making a few different kinds. Um, you can actually like freeze this. So you can set some aside and freeze it, use it later for something. Um, if you leave the cornstarch out, it actually makes a really nice jelly for dinner rolls. 
This kind of sounds kind of strange, but I've done that before and it, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna start the second round here. And um, this one is going to be cherry. I like to actually call it my maple brown sugar cherry glaze. And it's basically the same structure as the first glaze. So I'm going to do about one tablespoon of cornstarch. We are going to do our half cup of, oh, let me grab my spoon from over here. Half cup of cherry rosemary. I lied. I want to savor just a little bit of this because I think it's going to be delicious on toast. Or on my dinner rolls. We are doing a Friendsgiving uh, before we go and travel out of state for actual Thanksgiving. And so I am doing our glazed ham for the Friendsgiving. And so if you're looking for some side dish ideas to take to your holiday get together, um, I will link to some of those and in this video. You can go check those out. You can subscribe. I'm always updating, coming up with uh, all sorts of my favorite recipes to share with y'all. So again, about half a cup of my cherry jam. I'm gonna save just a little bit in my jar. We're gonna do a sprinkling here, the pinch of the ground cloves. And we need half a cup of honey. And because this one is going to have maple syrup in it, I'm only gonna do a fourth cup. If you don't have maple syrup, go ahead and do the half cup of honey. But I have real maple syrup on hand. I'm gonna use some of that. So I did fourth cup of honey. We want our splash of lemon juice. One teaspoon, two teaspoon, three teaspoon. I have been doing this a long time, y'all, so I just eyeball it. And let me grab that syrup. Okay, we're gonna put in a fourth cup of maple syrup. All right. The lid back on there tight and then we're going to do brown sugar now i do about a fourth a cup of brown sugar i'm just sprinkle this in here oh, that's probably about good and we're going to mix this together real nice again this is a cherry maple brown sugar glaze this is probably my favorite to do with ham everybody loves it All right, that is mixed together nicely. And I said I would share a third option with you as well. Um, so if you are looking for a really simple, you don't have any good jams on hand, you can do, um, it's about a fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. You do a fourth cup of brown sugar and a third cup of orange juice. And mix that together. I like to do that one and simmer it in the skillet and then you pour it over your ham and let that bake as well. There's something about the orange juice and the apple cider vinegar and the brown sugar together with ham. It's just so delicious. That's another simple, easy alternative you can use. Let me grab my ham. Okay, here we go. And um, I am going to do the apricot glaze over here and it's all right if these end up blending a little bit in your baking dish and I will end up after I bake these um I bake my hams usually at about 425 degrees and after about 15 20 minutes or so I will come back and do a second layer of glaze and then let it finish baking so it gets a double layer of delicious flavor now, if I had a whole ham, like a spiral ham, I would slather the whole thing. If you have it sliced, open up the slices and let the drizzle or the glaze drizzle on it down into the crevices of your ham, your big ham. Um, and it just adds so much flavor. All right. And we're going to do the cherry jam. The cherry. Y'all, okay. I try to leave... Uh, adult ingredients out of my recipes. I try to keep mine kid friendly. My kids love to help in the kitchen. Um, but if you have bourbon on hand, a splash of bourbon in this a cherry glaze, oh my goodness, that would be delicious. I have done that from time to time as well. Had to throw that in. It's holiday, grown up holiday party. Add that one in. All right. Oh, this is delicious. And I'm actually going to pick this up carefully. 
and do both sides. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let it drizzle and cover my other little mini ham hock over here. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be so good. Okay, I'm gonna go bake these in the oven. Uh, some of the other side dishes I'm doing for our Friendsgiving right now, I have green bean casserole, uh, we have lemon thyme stuffing, we have praline sweet potato casserole, and I made pumpkin bars with homemade cream cheese frosting. So check those recipes out and I hope you all will love this ham glaze and all three recipes. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Look at these hams. Oh, so this one is the one with the apricot glaze. These two have my cherry maple glaze. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to eat this. Friendsgiving is going to be amazing. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday.